Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are tweaking a RX 5700 non-XD on Ethereum. A lot of rumors about new graphic cards around right now so I rather focus on what I have and try to make it more efficient. We'll try with only overclock first then BIOS modding and editing straps and see what we end up with today. Stock mining hash rate on ETH for that card was already around 50 mega hash but using way too much power so it was time to tweak that we are working in hive west today with quickly doing my basics i brought it down to 49.5 mega hash a second at 110 watts that means a slight undervolt and a bit of memory overclock what i would usually do here is just to try different settings with undervolt and overclock to see some limits without touching the bios i could not really get beyond 54 mega hash a second without burning more than 120 watts of power best setting there was 54 mega hash a second at 115 watts so I wanted to give BIOS modding a try too, as I want to keep that card longer anyway. First, <laughs> always do this at your own risk, please don't break your card. And I was saving the original BIOS just to be safe. I'll be flashing my non-XD card to an XD version first. For this, you go to Tech Power Up's website as they have a V-BIOS collection. You can find your specific model, I just took the XD version of mine. Now you can edit the new BIOS, which we'll do in a bit. But first I wanted to try just to the stock XD BIOS, but it didn't change much. So let's edit the timings. Doing it this way, meaning for HiveOS, you basically just need the red BIOS editor. With that you can edit the timing straps. I'm doing that on the Windows PC though. We open it and now you have to copy the 1500 or the 1550 memory strap to the higher straps too. If you have more than one memory type, you have to do this for each and save. That's already it. Now just upload the modded BIOS file to your high voice library and you can flash. Or you can also flash directly in the overclocking dashboard. If you're flashing for the first time and you use an XT BIOS, you have to give it the check marks for forced flashing too. Now my card suddenly is an RX 5700 XT with modded straps. Nice. First I only ended up at 56 mega hash at around the same power consumption. I won't complain. But after that I wanted to adapt a bit more. And for that I also switched to Phoenix Miner from Team Red Miner. Courtesy of Red Panda Mining and his community, I tried the little hack for seeing almost 63 mega hash a second below 120 watts. But this gave me a lot of rejected and invalid shares, almost 50-50. So I added in more with the Phoenix Miner parameter. The 60 mega hash mod doesn't really work for me because of rejected shares, but some of the other parameters, and I'll link you all of them below to try yourself, could actually bump my hash rate a little bit finally above the 56 mega hash mark. I did not manage to turn it down more in terms of power though. If running on 100 watts, which I wanted, I would have terrible hash rate or stay around 115 watts and have more control over the hash rate. So I stayed with that. That means 57 mega hash a second is what I stayed with for now. And that costs me around 115 watts of power. So how do you folks keep your 5700 power consumption down? Or do you just not care and go for max hash rate? Please share some of your settings below. That's already it. it was my first try to get a bit more out of my RX 5700. First turning it into an 5700 XT through BIOS modding and continuing to tweak. Still as mentioned I'm sure there is still more one could get out of it. I'd love to get my hands on even more of those cards. But we'll see how the GPU future will look let me know if you are waiting for newer cards or are still expanding on navi i hope all of you are doing well i wish all the best to each and every one of you happy mining and bye